So uh, I try to implement this block template, Tailwind blocks template. So if you, I don't know if you know about Tailwind, but it's a CSS. Uh, it's a bit verbose in your CSS classes, but it allows you to make um, to customize uh, the rendering uh, as you want. You see on the left and on the right, uh, you add CSS uh, classes, and you are able to to handle the the margins, the the colors. The, the display, uh, the font size, etc., uh, etc. Et um, and so I try to make a blog template with this theme. Um, so it's just a list of blogs, a sidebar on the right, um, and the post details. Oh yeah, and today I managed to use the custom user settings. So maybe I can show this. Uh, if I go to the admin, I will be able to change some custom settings for the theme. Let me maybe let me disable localization uh, or it will be in French. So settings so I can have localization enabled and have it in English. Just set the language to English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I try to use custom theme settings to be able to add a picture so it's a white picture. Um, to be able to change the top bar style, the header style, and the uh, style of the nav bar. The admin settings meaning the admin, so the, the theme settings, the theme here has custom properties. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I used custom settings. Custom, custom, okay, custom settings. So the theme itself creates a custom setting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Type that has the custom setting. So I changed the style of the top bar. And you use text box. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. And I used the figure users custom user settings and enable the feature and I defined a profile content type with the custom user settings stereotype and I added the fields the media field to specify a logo and an HTML field in WYSIWYG editor for the description of the user. So when I edit a user, there is a profile tab. Wow. I can upload a picture and select it in the media library. Um, you can change. Disable the sanitizer, but when I save, you see when I switch between uh, source and uh, preview, 
Why are you doing that? Ah, uh, it's not the sanitizer. It's it's how uh, it's uh, oh, it's Oh, font also because of the icon, it's, it's injecting the SVG. Yeah, it's trying to translate it as a, an SVG, so probably it passes in the JavaScript and then tries to render it as an SVG. And now it's, it, yeah. And then it, and, and does it mess up with the raw HTML? Normally it should display fine though, because I mean, the SVG is fine too. But is what I see here, is that just the DOM or is that actually in database? Uh, it's in database. Yeah, it's in the database because you, That's bad. Yeah. And this is because on the admin we are using um, Fontosum. So we have the JavaScript and it's really changing. Uh, yeah, maybe we could disable the font awesome icons uh, displayed in SVG and just keep the fonts. Uh, okay. There's a difference there to, though that we need to check if we can have all the icons. I'm not sure. Okay. Cool. And as I mentioned, there are multiple zones in the theme so i am able to change uh, what i have in the head section in the top bar in the nav bar header before content after content footer um i don't know why i have full script uh, and there is a sidebar and the top bar so you are able to say, I want to change the top bar, edit it. Up, GitHub, and I am able to change the footer, of course, and I can change the um, about uh, what you see in the about. Here. I can change the footer. And what I what what was I thinking of? Oh yeah, maybe if I want to enable the archives, I made a, a query. I made a liquid widget. So the liquid widget I will add it to the blog layer. So previously it was in the never, so it, it was never displayed. If I display it, uh, so it's a, an archives query, and for each archive, I will display the number of blog posts per month. So maybe I can show you the query. The query archives is, you see, like this. Per month, per year, the number of posts, because there is the count of ID group by month and year. Content type equals blog post. Published equals true. Ordered by descending year and months. So I am able to display this list of archives. Um, so I will publish it and we'll refresh it. 
there is the archive widget and there is a link to uh, an archives page and the archives page is a liquid page in which I list uh, the, uh, the, the same query. Yeah, uh, not exactly the same. Um, the archives. There is a content query to display all the, the blog posts and it's ordered by uh, by date uh, descending. And if only we had uh, templated the routes. Dean. <laughs> I think you're talking to Sitka, who's not here. No, thank you. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, he, I'm sure he promised to do it. Maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice though? Even more for that. We should ask Sean Thierry to do it. He knows what about. That's right, looks nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So it will be on you get? Eventually, no, it's not going to be on NuGet. What? Oh, okay, elsewhere. that's okay. It will be available elsewhere. That's fine. We'll link to the elsewhere. Thank you.